It's time for another Wrestle Planet news update as two WWE stars address their future following rumors that they are set to leave the company. Kevin Owens seemingly drops another hint that he is AEW bound and Jeff Hardy has been released from his WWE contract. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Unfortunately, we have to start off with some sad news as it was revealed yesterday that WWE Hall of Famer Blackjack Jack Lanza has passed away at the age of 86. Lanza is known for his 24 year long wrestling career, having worked for promotions such as WWE, AWA, Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling, and the National Wrestling Alliance. He was a WWWF World Tag Team Champion, a one time WWA World Tag Team Champion, and a one time NWA American Tag Team Champion. Champion, all of which were alongside his longtime tag team partner, Black Jack Mulligan. The news would be broken by legendary commentator Jim Ross, who would take to Twitter to say, Just heard from old Winnipeg friend Bob Holiday that Jack Lanza has passed away at the age of 86. Jack was our lead agent during the Attitude Era, hell of a hand. Many names from around the wrestling world would pay tribute to the late Lanza, including WWE Chairman Vince McMahon, and he would say, our heart goes out to the family and friends of Jack Lanza. He was a man's man, respected and beloved by all. He worked for and loved WWE for many years. His loyalty and dedication will never be forgotten. And my thoughts go out to Black Jack's family during these difficult times. Last night, AEW would hold the latest episode of Dynamite from the UBS Arena in Long Island, New York. During the show, the date for the next All Elite Wrestling pay-per-view was revealed, with AEW Revolution heading back to Florida for the second year in a row. Revolution is set to be held from the Edition Financial Arena in Orlando, Florida on March 6th, which will cap off a free night event in the city. AEW Rampage will be held on March 4th, AEW Fan Fest on March 5th, and the pay-per-view on March 6th. Tickets will be available on AEWTix.com from Friday, December 17th at 10 a.m. Eastern, with combos being available for all three nights. Last week, a report emerged that the engaged couple of WWE's Charlotte Flair and AEW's Andrade El Idolo had broken up. This after the latter unfollowed his partner on social media, whilst deleting a number of photos of the two. The report, which came from Bodyslam.net's Cassidy Haynes, stated that the breakup did not appear to be mutual, and it was Charlotte who ended the relationship. Yesterday, Andrade took to Twitter to seemingly rubbish the reports, suggesting the news is fake, and he said, Hola, good morning, Mammy, for fake news. As you probably guessed, Mammy is his nickname for his fiancée, Charlotte Flair. Whilst it seems the couple are still together, Cassidy Haynes, who reported the news last week, took to Twitter to respond to criticism of his report, with a fan echoing Andrade's statement of fake news, to which Cassidy responded, if you say so, pal, I stand by on my report. They were slash are broken up, unless they reconciled, which I haven't heard otherwise from my sources, despite what has been said by other people today. Going by the recent deletion of photos of the couple, it seems believable that the couple did indeed break up, although they appear to be back together as of now. In our last news video, we discussed the scrapped Major League Wrestling debut of New Japan Pro Wrestling star Will Ospreay. Ospreay was set to appear on MLW's Melrose Ballroom shows this month in New York City via their working relationship with New Japan, a relationship that is said to have come to an end. Despite the news, Ospreay himself seems keen to make the debut happen, assuring fans that it will eventually happen. The current RevPro undisputed British heavyweight champion took to Twitter to say, Lads, MLW will happen, just not when it was meant to. Everyone calm your tits. Whilst we speculated yesterday that the relationship between the two companies fell through due to MLW's deal with All Japan, who have a bad history with New Japan's Japanese partners Pro Wrestling Noah, it seems that the problem stems from another wrestling war. According to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, the deal fell through due to New Japan's relationship with CMLL, with MLW working with CMLL's Mexican rival AAA. MLW reportedly wanted Osprey for their recent tapings in Mexico, held in conjunction with the crash, but that event also had AAA talent on it, and New Japan Pro Wrestling didn't want Osprey involved. 
This week, WWE released brand new merchandise for a recently released WWE superstar just in time for the Christmas season. The item in question is part of a holiday set of pop vinyls, one which portrays the fiend Bray Wyatt, somebody that hasn't been in the company since late July. The figure is wearing a Santa hat and a Christmas attire and glows in the dark. Whilst the WWE shop still has a number of items for sale for the fiend, most of it is on sale in clearance, with the new pop vinyl being the only recent release. WWE's reason for the release of Bray Wyatt was that of budget cuts, despite him being a huge merchandise seller for the company, something that seems to be backed up by the fact that he's been added to this Christmas line. It's worth noting though that the designs were likely finalised whilst he was still with the company. For now, Wyatt's future in wrestling is still unknown with him set to pursue a career in acting. Although he is scheduled for WrestleCon next year during WrestleMania 38 weekend, his only publicly known wrestling related appearance in the near future. This week, the WWE contracts of Kyle O'Reilly and Johnny Gargano are set to expire, with the pair having seemingly said their goodbyes to the NXT brand this past Tuesday following the live show. In the opening match of NXT, O'Reilly would lose to Von Wagner in a steel cage match in what appears to be his last match on the former black and gold brand. As for Gargano, he would close the show by addressing the NXT crowd before he was taken out by Grayson Waller. After the show went off the air, both Gargano and O'Reilly would appear to give an emotional final farewell to NXT before they were joined by Johnny's former tag team partner and longtime foe Tommaso Ciampa as O'Reilly watched from ringside. The three men would then embrace in the ring. Both men would take to Twitter to thank their fans after reported news that they are set to leave with Gargano saying, even after last night, I still can't put everything I'd like to say into words right now. Just know that I appreciate all of you more than I could ever really express. Hope I made you proud. In a separate post, Kyle O'Reilly would say, Truly overwhelmed by all the love and heartfelt messages. By no means does this mean goodbye. Just smell you later. We have many feeling that both men are set to leave the company this week. Dave Meltzer noted on the Wrestling Observer Radio that some within NXT feel that both men will be back, although it's unknown what their next move will be. It is possible they will let their deals run down or perhaps sign a new deal on the main roster, but we do seemingly know that their time in NXT is likely over. Next up, let's go to a story from this past Monday's episode of Raw, where a certain WWE superstar hinted at a jump to AEW. And yes, this is from Monday, but I didn't watch Raw or hear about it until today, so forgive me if this one's late. Kevin Owens would compete to take on WWE Champion Big E inside a steel cage. During the match, Kevin would pay homage to a former friend and foe, Chris Jericho, when he locked in the walls of Jericho on E in an attempt to make his opponent tap. Many fans took this as a hint that Owens has his mind on a move to AEW, where Jericho is of course now based. Whilst this would seem like a stretch if this were an isolated incident, this isn't the first time he has made reference to his friends in AEW, having posted multiple teases of a reunion of Mount Rushmore, a PWG faction consisting of himself, Adam Cole, and the Young Bucks. Kevin's contract is set to expire at the end of January next year, with most people expecting Owens to make the jump to become all elite. This despite his involvement in the WWE Day 1 main event, where he will compete for the WWE Championship. He is set to wrestle in a triple threat involving Seth Rollins and Big E, with this possibly being his last title match in the company. And finally, we have some news on yet another WWE release, as veteran wrestler Jeff Hardy has been let go from his contract. This news follows a strange incident at a live event in Edinburgh, Texas, where Jeff Hardy would team with Xavier Woods and Drew McIntyre to take on current WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns and SmackDown Tag Team Champions The Usos in the main event. Hardy would be worked over by the Bloodline, spending most of the time in the ring, with fans describing his performance as sluggish the more the match went on. Hardy would then manage to score a hot tag to McIntyre before Jeff would climb over the crowd barricade before exiting the arena. At the time, there were no reasons given for the occurrence, although a report from Fightful regarding his release seems to suggest it may be related to substance issues which have plagued Hardy throughout his career. After being sent home from the aforementioned live event loop, WWE reportedly offered Jeff Hardy help and rehab, and this was not accepted. This seems to be the reason he was 
was let go from the company with Jeff refusing to get the help that he needs. Hardy last worked a TV match on November 26th during an episode of SmackDown where he teamed with Drew McIntyre to defeat Madcap Moss and Happy Corbin. He was scheduled to take on Corbin this Friday on SmackDown but of course this match will no longer be happening. This is sad news for fans of Jeff not only because of his release but because of the fact that he has once again fallen victim to his demons. We can only hope that he gets the help he needs to get back on track. Hopefully he can once again see a career resurgence outside of WWE with Jeff being one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. And before you go, make sure you check out my video where I discuss 10 UFC fighters that are perfect for WWE or AEW.